Welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. The title today is Be Priority Driven. We're in a series talking about four priorities. We're in priority number three, which is your relationship with other people that are followers of Jesus. We've talked about the church and our relationship with people that are followers of Jesus in that body of people. Now we're talking about the family. Last time we talked about the importance of the family. This time we're going to talk about the role of the husbands. So this is, this is for the ladies. You, you need to get this down. <laughs> we're going to be pretty tough on these guys. In fact, it's interesting when you look in the scripture, and I'm going to give you a passage in a minute, there is so much more that the husband's got to get after and, and live out in his marriage than the lady, than the wife. And so, guys, we got to get after it here. So, here we go, the husbands. I'm just going to give you a list of several things, and again, I could go for days on this. Let's just do a little bit. Husbands, what is your responsibility? Number one, maintain a vital relationship with Jesus. Maintain a vital relationship with Jesus. If you see your marriage going downhill, it's usually because your relationship with Jesus is going downhill. Discover and rediscover the biblical view of marriage. Get your Bible out. Read chapter 5 of Ephesians, where it talks about the role of the husband and the role of the wife. Check it out, Ephesians 5. If you have difficulties in your marriage, get help. Help. A great thing to do to show maturity. I need help. If you have difficulties in your marriage, you've got not only get help, but talk with your wife daily. You say, well, I, everybody talks to their wives daily. No, they don't. Non-verbally, they may talk to their wives daily. But boy, often the mom is the word in many, many declining marriages. Communication is not happening. Forgive a lot. The oil of a relationship in a marriage, I think the oil is forgiveness. Forgive and forget, not Forgive and then recall and remember. Continue to court your wife. When's the last time you've had a night out or a weekend out or whenever you go out with your wife, take her to dinner, go get some ice cream, whatever you do, get a date night. Don't stop courting. Use your humor frequently. And if you're not funny, go get a joke book and read it. But do something to keep humor. Listen, in our day and time, life is so daggone serious. If we don't learn to laugh and have a little appropriate levity, uh, we're going to be we're going to be tough to live with. Learn to serve your wife. My wife and I try every morning when I leave the house. I'll say, "What can I do for you, sweetie?" And she'll look at me and say, "What can I do for you that day?" And so we intend to do what the other person requests. Learn to serve your wife. Make your wife the number one priority under your relationship with the Lord. So, here's a little action step for you men. Be committed to helping your wife become all the person God wants her to be. Be committed to helping your wife become all the person that God wants her to be. So the question is, what could you do to make that happen? Get after it. Let's go, men. We gotta do it. <laughs>